Hi, Cancer. Let's see what's showing up for you at this time. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I get the name like Brick or Bo, like a name like that either. I don't know. It's a B name and it has a Brick or Bo something. I don't know why that's coming in so strong. Oh, the mask and energy. Between worlds, starting something new, but as at peace. Oh, my goodness. All right. For somebody, if you do have a loved one who is passing away, and they're, you know, they haven't gone over to the other side, they're at peace. Or when they went to the other side, they were at complete peace. Not to worry. Between worlds, they're at peace. If they're on the other side right now, they are at, they're peaceful. They're happy. Very happy to be there. Especially if they were ill here in uh, body form. It was a peaceful transition. Is what I'm getting. Be at peace. Don't worry about them. Be happy. Uh, even if you weren't there, you know, a lot of times people pass away when everyone goes home. It's always very, very common. So never feel bad if you weren't there when they passed away. They probably didn't want you there. They probably chose to pass when you, you know, were out of the room or at home. So if this is somebody in the physical, <clears throat> could be someone coming into the world too. The egg and the way it's like it's coming, almost being... Someone maybe might have a peaceful, preg not a, a delivery, but <clears throat> this is probably though somebody here who is moving, moving on between worlds, going towards something new. Be at peace. Don't worry about this person traveling. Cancer or Leo possibly. I'm sorry, did I, what did I say? Leo, yeah, you're Cancer, but could be you. Pisces energy here too. Could be another Cancer beside you, but something is changing here. Yeah, someone's moving on. They're changing directions. Could have a masculine energy who doesn't want to be married anymore. Wants to move on, but doesn't. I don't know what they're going towards. What they're going towards may not be that great. Under the deck is justice. They've maybe chosen something. Again, someone may not be accepting help, or somebody may be... Some may have been addicted to drugs, too, when they went. Something like that. Someone may have changed a lot, like in the last years, but <clears throat> someone's obsessed. Someone could have been obsessed with a new relationship or a new person. Again, this could be you, Cancer, watching this. You're coming up in the masculine energy. This could be you because it's saying the yang energy, but. Um, some of you maybe are just unhappy where you've been and you want to be in something new. And where you're going is going to be more peaceful. Some of you are tired of a dynamic. It looks like a home dynamic. It could be family dynamic, not love, but family. I know you sometimes love your family too, but um, but I was going to say, I mean, it could be work, getting into a different position, getting into a different company. But the cards show love, but we can read this as work too. <clears throat> maybe someone is retiring as well. Going into retirement, being more peaceful, being happy. Okay. Yeah, I am seeing someone who's happy. Definitely could be a move. A move or a major change with the tower there. Sometimes that represents divorce as well. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go here. What is going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I'm getting the color black, so someone may be choosing a car or buying a car, and the black one is the one to choose. I don't know why the features on it. Someone, uh, what else would be? So I'm getting something about um, maybe they tinted the windows. Maybe someone is driving by. It's a black car with dark windows. Have you seen that recently? Being happy. Trust your intuition. Some of you are wishing for a fire sign. Be open. No moving. That says no under the deck. Moving behind it. Feminine. Don't overthink it. Feminine. Moving. No. Could be a. Um, some of you may be a feminine energy. You're not going to be moving. That's so funny. We always tell you guys like you're moving. You're going. So maybe you're not moving. You don't have to move. But anyways, could be a, a fire sign is coming towards you. Be open. Could be someone that you wish for. Could be a uh, manifestation of new love. All right. Could be <clears> that you've been waiting for this person. What does Cancer need to know? 
holding on. Yeah, so things have been happening. Um, that fire sign, there's a fire sign coming in for some of you, and there you are. <clears throat> I know you're not Queen of Pentacles, but I just feel like that's you for some reason. I feel like you have been working hard on something. Eight of Coins, Lovers, Wheel of Fortune. So it could be someone at your job, Cancer. It could be uh, someone that you're just around, someone you know. This could be a brand new person. It seems like it's been taking a while, though. Knight of Cups, Knight of Coins. No, I get like a new home, building a home out in the out in the cold, and then a new new place to live or being together as a family, moving in together. All right, let me go to another deck here. A soulmate, sword in the row, speaking their truth, a reconciliation for some of you. Not showing emotions with a poker face at a crossroads. And please listen. Someone's opening up. Things are changing. So it could be that this masculine energy is changing the way they interact with you. They're coming out of like the dark space and then coming into something new. They're at peace with opening up. They may have had some sort of like life altering or changing experience recently that's causing them to be more I'm gonna like they may have had a near death experience, but something that's caused them to now be more open about how they're feeling. They may want to reconcile with you, but they haven't been telling you that. But now maybe they're going to reach out and, and tell you that. So the cards are showing that it's a reconciliation for someone where you wanted to get back together with this person. What do you need to know? Someone has been feeling very weighed down. Three of Cups. You know what's funny is I got an emperor. Could be a father or father figure. Someone who... Um, I actually got daughters. I got someone. Somebody has a lot of daughters. Like they had, they wanted like maybe two kids, boy and a girl, but they have like three or four daughters. And then that's funny. I don't know why I never get that. Usually third party, obviously three of cups are celebrating, or someone feels way down. And someone's kids may be graduating college or going off to college, and they may leave a situation, a relationship now. Ten of cups, the chariot, and the emperor energy here. King of Pentacles. I'm getting there's definitely a masculine energy who is not happy with their life. They don't like, they're bored, they're unhappy, they want to move on, they want some sort of change. So they could be coming towards you. Um, two of Cups, when I split the deck, I don't think they're going away from you, but they could. I feel like if you're in a family dynamic, I feel like your father may be leaving the family situation. Um, like, could be a midlife crisis, could just be they're overwhelmed and just tired of life. Maybe they're um, retiring. But otherwise, I feel like someone could be coming towards you. Someone's spouse could be cheating and they're tired of it as well. But I kind of heard like burning the house down. I don't think anyone's going to literally, but coming towards love, lovers. It's almost like this reading makes you feel like someone is tired of the responsibility. Like they've they've had a lot of responsibility for like many, many years. Okay, like. 40, 50, 60 years possibly uh, of carrying the burdens, carrying everything, and they just want more freedom. They want to have more fun. I heard the word shock. It's a shock. Justice. It could be a Libra for some of you. So I get this person must be coming towards you now. They're tired of being alone. Someone's been eating a lot of, I get sushi or something. I don't know why it's coming through. What's the point? But <clears throat> oh, that's not even supposed to be in that deck. Five of Swords came out. Someone's going, yeah, someone's going after their dream, and they're talking. They're being more open. They're starting to communicate better. I feel like someone could have been in a relationship or in a family dynamic where nobody talked. No one said what they needed. It could be passive-aggressive. People could brush things under the carpet, make up stories of how things used to be. Or some, I don't know why that's coming up, but I think there was a dynamic that this masculine was in that he doesn't like, or she, but... Um, I just kind of get like they're, yeah, traveling clock. It's time to travel. Someone also may be running out of time. Like they're thinking like I'm too old to travel now or I, you know, it's going to retire and travel. But they, I don't know if they didn't. Connect with me. Maybe they want to travel with you. They want more of a leisurely life. It says connect with me. Things are changing. Here's that shock card. 
So I don't know if it's shocking that this person is changing so much or what's going on here. Time travel. Clock and travel. Time travel. Wanting to go back. Heartbroken. Connect with me. Talk with me. Things are going to change. Sudden change news. I'm also getting someone could have like electric, like heart problems. I mean, it's like when you shock someone back to life. Heart problems may have been an issue or something may have happened with someone's heart. Heartbreak. Maybe even while traveling. Yeah, heart's broken. Someone's heart is broken, but it could literally be broken too. Some may have died from heart issues. Someone is at peace on the other side. I get, I get, I get different variations of the message because it could have been someone who was not very open when they were here on Earth, and they were very mean or cold or very shut off. A lot of times, people whose hearts are broken or whatever do have heart issues in their physical body. Uh, it can mean that they aren't able to love, or they lack love, or they are hurt by someone. Different things like that. But um, I feel like if someone is on the other side looking back at their life in the physical form and feeling regret that they didn't open up, that they weren't more loving, that they weren't nicer to you. So, yeah, that, that's coming across as a, a message of like someone was peacefully, someone passed peacefully. Others, you need to be at peace and know you did the best you could. Or others of you know that they want you to be at peace and not be sad. And they feel bad that they weren't a better you know, person on earth but there, this one is going towards a love reading for you cancer that this person is actually in love with you I guess I get a mass and energy who wants to be with the person they really love and it could be you cancer and they want to get out of something because like they feel like time is ticking um, they don't have a whole much longer they want to be with you they want to be with the person they love they don't want to hide it anymore Could possibly be someone who has um, possibly loves the same sex and people don't know that. With with like shock, someone could be shocked by this. They have a secret crush. They never wanted to let somebody know or be open about this, but now they don't care. Eight of Cups, letting the past go, walking away. Wanting to move quickly, so they're, it's like they're giving up on something, wanting to work or change or do something differently. The Eight of Coins put in the effort, or they put in the effort and it didn't pay off. Oh, they're happy. Seven of Coins. Some may want to live like a nomad type of lifestyle or like something where like they don't want to work anymore. Like I got some of me want to retire, go live on the beach, sit in a hammock, a hammock, drink. Some may want to also open a bar or work at a bar or something like that. They think it's fun to be around the people and the alcohol or something like that. I don't know if that would be, but lovers in the Nine of Cups. Someone's regretting their life choices. They feel like what they did didn't pay off. It wasn't worth it. And they wish they had lived their dreams or their passions. So again, some of these messages may apply to you as well. You may be younger, feminine energy, thinking, you know what, I'm not happy with what I'm doing. It's not paying off. I do all this work. I'm coming up short. I don't want to even do this in the first place. So keep that in mind. These messages could be channeled from someone who's past, who's watching you, who's saying, you know what, I don't want you to be working so hard and stressing out and have heart issues like me. And then at the end of it, you are regretful. Like you didn't live your life. You didn't live your passion. Be with the person you love. Yeah, breathe. All that glitters. Someone needs to de-stress. They're saying Xanax, but I want to say that. <laughs> um... Someone needs to, because all that glitters, like all that money, I mean, money is good. It gives you freedom. And, but again, something's not worth it. Something's not what it's worth. It's too much work. Or it's not paying off or whatever. So, message in a bottle. You may, that's so funny, because yesterday I was sitting here and I felt like being, like I was touched. So whatever, there's a spirit sometimes, they haven't been around me for like two or three years. And then they make themselves known by just touching me, tapping me. It's, it's a good spirit. It's just, I don't, know. I don't know why they came back. And they were touching my leg yesterday to let me know they were there. Anyways, I don't know why, but message in a bottle. You may have some sort of interaction that's supernatural, you know, a spirit. It'll be, for me, it doesn't, I don't care because I've had so many things happen. Um that it, those things don't bother me but it might be a bit like it'll be something simple nothing too jarring but if you do have something like that it is just someone around you who wants to let you know they're there 
It may just touch you on the shoulder. You'll know. It'll feel like someone's touching you and nobody's there. So they could. So I'm getting like you may have a uh, person who's passed who may come and give you a message, but in a different way, such as that. I'm getting something to do with somebody's cat, a collar. If it's in the physical world, though, what's going on in this physical world with this fire sign? To me, there is definitely a new commitment. You not, may not be sure, though, about this person. The card said be open, right? Way back here it said about this fire sign coming towards you. A wish fulfilled, a fire sign, be open to this person. So listen to what they have to say as opposed to pushing them away. What is Cancer? I need to know about this fire sign. Could come in very quick. Showing up as a, as a king of swords, though, right now. <clears throat> From the past. Wish fulfilled, eight of coins, working, something about working on the past, working together. I don't mean physically having to work or anything, but work on the relationship. Taurus, Pisces, ten of coins, making a different decision. Some of you are going to have a major change within six to nine months this year. Something about your life, your life is going to be very different because of this person. So you may buy an older house or something and, and like work on it, fix it up, a fixer upper, but it's almost like a mansion. It's very big. Again, some of you may be working together with people from the past, or there may be some healing here with an earth sign or an air sign. I don't know if some of you are pissed off with someone. Yeah, that ten of coins keeps coming up. <clears throat> so I kind of feel like for some of you, maybe there's an Aquarius in the mix here. I actually kind of get someone is going down a path again that may not make them happy. I don't think this is you with this message, but I kind of feel like this is all that glitters. The way the King of Pentacles is looking over at the Queen of Swords, it's kind of like, well, all that glitters, you know, she's not that nice. I don't know. I don't think this is your, like, involving you right here. I feel like there's other messages with the King and Queen of Swords coming up. I do feel like it could be a third party with someone around you or something, but you may not be directly involved with the situation at the moment or hoping for something. Someone's going to get a wish, and they're going to be sorry. That's what I'm getting. And they're going to be sorry about that. Because um, remember how that show, like, someone was going toward the devil in the beginning of the, the reading, and I got someone's going toward something that's going to take them down. They've been obsessing over something so toxic that it's going to take them down to their grave. It is. And it felt like a masculine energy was doing it. And um, it is what it is. It's their choice. Um, these three fell out, so I'm going to show them to you. Be, to be fair, clean it up, poised. Something needs to be cleaned up or wrapped up, justice, in order to move on. There could be an apology. What is this clean it up? Is there an apology or something that needs to be wrapped up or finished? Like, don't hang on to anyone from the past. Don't have any ties to the past. Um, dis, you know... Six of Wands victory. Maybe it has already been cleaned up. Page of Cups. The Nine of Swords. Six of Cups and the Page of Swords. Okay, so you have two pages. Yeah, there could be an argument here or something. Page of Swords, Page of Cups. I'm, yeah, Page of Cups. It's, it's, it's hard for me to see pictures like this when they're very different and so... I get moving on. I do get for me just moving on. Something's good. It's a good thing. Letting something go. Something that was messy or toxic. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys.